<clears throat> what is going on, people? Saturday night, My Hero Academia, Season 3, Episode 3. Apologize that this is like five hours late. Usually I've been getting the video up around 4, 5, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Eastern, but just closed up the gym today and was just super tired, decided to take a nap instead, got dinner, and now we're back on it. No crazy, drawn-out excuse. That just is what it is. Um, but we're back on it. I'm pretty excited. It looks like we're slowly starting to pick up here. Um, coming off of last episode, we kind of got to the first episode. We got a detail. We got like a verbal recap of all the kids in class one A and their quirks. And then last episode, we got to see every single kid actually physically apply their quirks. So I'm ready to go. I feel like we've gotten all the background information we need. We know every kid. We know their name. We know their quirks. Um, I'm just ready to get into it. I wouldn't mind a recap and a showing of the class 1B kids, all their names and their quirks. Um, I'm kind of figuring, like, where are these kids? Are they not staying in the same place as class 1A? Are they not going through the same training? Because, like, were, did they all get on the bus together, on the same bus? And I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But besides that, there's not really much to recap. I think we started out last episode with the villains. Um, or was that episode 1? I'm not even sure. I don't remember. Um... And then we found out why that little kid hates heroes because his parents used to be a, used to be heroes and they died, um, and that's what I pretty much thought. As soon, as soon as I knew he hated heroes, I knew that there had to be something there with family member died, brother died, father, or something like that. Um, anything else to discuss? No, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get on to it. We are pressing play on the episode right now. <clears throat> Really interested to see what happens here. I'm hopefully we're like really starting to get into it. Opening. Yep. I know I've probably said this ten times, but. The season three opening's pretty damn good. Is it better than the tournament arc one? Or season two? Oh, man. I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch all of them back to back to back. I'll make sure I do this after this. Um, to really give an accurate ranking of the openings. I just feel like the visuals, I don't know, was season two's visuals better than this, though? I don't know, I think this one has the best visuals for sure. Yeah, this one's pretty damn good. I feel like it's so long, too. Like, we're getting to see All Might go crazy, Deku, Tudor, everybody's just going off. Alright, here we go. Oh, here's the Class 1B kids. Can I find out some info? Oh, I'm so more interested in this group right now. This is exactly what I want. Someone brought up a good point. Azawa brought up um, everybody needs to make their quirks physically stronger. Like he made Bakugo throw that ball and it didn't go any further than when he threw it like day one at school. How does Invisible Girl physically make her quirk better? Can she like elevate her quirk to maybe things she touched can turn invisible? I don't know. Damn, that's smart training right there. Whew. So he's just spamming over and over. What does he just do? Just 
Just keep spitting it out until it runs out. Oh, his tail will become harder and his rock will become... Yeah. Is he hooked up to a generator? Yo, Kaminari honestly can be one of the strongest. If he cannot um, go dumb, my man's possibilities are endless. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> the fact that they have to make him moan every time. Damn, they just got him in the dark and shit. What is Invisible Girls? I gotta hear hers. Uh, trying to get his sugar rush. He could also be really OP too. What's her, what's she need to do? Oh, to increase her metabolism and everything so she can spit out more. She's just putting acid on herself. Oh my god, he's gonna just have a bleeding head. <laughs> So she didn't, she didn't get an update right there, though. We still didn't get an explanation on how she becomes stronger. Other than trying to remain unseen. Oh my god, it's more. I really want to go back and watch that whole part again. Because he was talking so damn fast. And that's a grown man in a cat suit. Like, is Bakugo burning his hands? They say he's putting it in boiling water. I don't know how, like, safe that is. Yeah, we didn't even get what his was. He do Oh my god. He just got smacked by a grown man in a cat suit. These four are the most logical choice to train your quirks in a short amount of time. Let's go, Class B. Get up there. Let's go. Damn, I wanted to see the Class 1B kids and get that same description we just got. Oh yeah, they did say that was the only day they were going to cook for them. Of course, Ida's going to take this 100%.
Todoroki. Okay, he's got the flame. Oh my god, he blew the whole thing up. Well, yeah, she can create a damn lighter. He needs the fire practice anyway. Oh my god. You know what I feel crazy for? Like, it is like poop. Like, Sarah, I feel like that. T we've never heard an explanation of how he creates his tape, other than he just spits out tape like material from his arms. I feel like if he keeps doing that, he's just going to run out of tape. I'm sure his body creates it. We just haven't gotten that explanation like we got with Momo. Okay, this looks like um, what happened in the opening when he's protecting Koto from that grown-ass man. Are we about to get our first villain encounter right here, or... Oh, wow, he just really brought up his parents. Does Coda not have a quirk? It's kind of, I mean, Deku didn't have a quirk, but it's rare. I was about to say, his, both of his parents had quirk. Yeah, he just said the same thing. Like, he didn't get a quirk? Damn, we're getting these depressing ass flashbacks of him without a court. They keep zooming in from this cave, like looking out. Is somebody in there looking at them? You know he's going to eat the food. But yeah, that's crazy that both his parents had quirks and he didn't get one. Or maybe he does have one, we just haven't seen it yet. He does have one. That's him punching the shit out of that damn mountain. Oh, fluff. Here we go. <laughs> Yeesh. Who the hell is that? Oh! Okay, Ninja Turtle. How many do they need? Ten of us. Straight Akatsuki vibes right here. What can they really do, though? Because even, like he said, it's I agree with him. It's, if you have a hundred 
just foot soldiers that aren't very skilled, or you have ten like elites. Give me the ten elites. Um, but like these kids aren't pushovers. Some of their quirks are like really damn good, and they have um, the teachers there as well. Like, I mean, some of them might just be seriously OP. I'm trying to think, like, what can they do? He's got stomach aches. She's on the verge of throwing up. My man's just hanging out in boiling water. Oh man. Because you feel like back to my talk about only 10 villains. You feel like Deku's good to at least take one of them on by himself. So all, you're already down to nine. Todoroki and Bakugo, if they were like together, or Todoroki with anybody, Bakugo with anybody, could take on another one. So they're already down to eight. You still have another 38-something kids to go. I would hope that they could divvy up between the eight villains and at least survive until help is on the way. Or maybe these villains are just so OP that it's not even funny. Who's that, Todoroki? I feel like Todoroki's going to be the first one to connect these dots that what is between... You can't just tease the villains like that and not sh show us. Oh, so he wanted All Might to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah, he just has to show him that he's better than everyone else. Not better, like I'm better than you, but like he can be better. I already know what's going to happen. Episode's going to end right when the villains attack and I'm going to be pissed. Wow. Oh, that's a group that failed. Oh, okay.
your tags and your names written on them in the middle of the route, so bring those back with you. We're just playing hide and seek, trying to scare people. Yeah, someone's going to be... He's by himself? <laughs> you counting it twice isn't going to change the difference. Oh god, he doesn't want to be with... He keeps saying that. Ribbity kitty. I wouldn't be scared with Sue. She's the best female. What is her quirk? Is it something that's like actually... Oh shit. He's falling asleep. Okay, I'm getting this like... Middle school, high school, like, death metal music in the background and shit. <clears throat> oh, God, it's the dude, yeah. I knew this bullshit was going to happen. I flipping knew it. This is how the episode's going to end. I'm going to be so pissed. The Vanguard Action Squad. Yeah, I was about to like, I thought we took some security measures this time. They're really worried too. And he's up there by himself. And that's how the episode ends, isn't it? Just get it over with. God. Ugh. Just can't win out here. As soon as I saw when they showed the villains, I'm like, this is how the episode's going to end. Because there were seven of them and they were waiting on ten. Um, I feel like that's a logical explanation, though, what I was saying. There's only ten of them. Again, you give me ten elites. I'll take ten elites over a hundred, like, below average. Um, but some of these kids are not below average. And I also want to say that I feel like those teachers are good for, like, one of the villains. So let's say Aizawa can handle one. That monkey suit guy. I still don't even know what his quirk is. I don't know why I keep thinking he looks like a monkey. He looks like some kind of gorilla. But he looks like he could take another one. So, okay, they're down to eight. Um, I would think that cat brigade group could take on at least another one or two by themselves. So say they're come down to seven. I would feel like the 40 kids that are there could take on the rest that are seven. Um, Deku's good for one, down to six. Todoroki and Bakugo might be good for one each. Um, take it down. Not saying they could win, but I feel like they could at least tote in with some backup and some health they could hand off. So, like, is ten enough? Um, it just depends on what these, what the villain's quirks are. It looks like, what's my guy's name? Dabby? I don't, I forget what his name is. It looks like he's just got fire. Maybe it's blue flames. Is there something special about it? I don't know. Or is it just like Todoroki, but it burns hotter, maybe something like that. Um, and what's crazy is they only got like three days to really work on their course. So you, I don't think they really got any stronger in three days. So the kids are kind of like at the levels we know them to be at. Um, 
and also Tokuyami, it's nighttime. He might be able to take on one villain by himself with the Dark Shadow, so I just feel like the villains are kind of outnumbered, but it's going to have to be a lot of group pairings and the kids working together. Um, it looked like that guy was like, it looks like he's got something going on like Midnight does, where he releases some kind of smoke that maybe knocks people out, puts them to sleep. Um, and the guy was maybe burning the forest down to make the smoke like pick up quicker and travel further. It looks like they have some kind of telekinesis thing because they snatched that cat girl out of there real quick. Um, I have no idea what my man Squirk is that's carrying around that like um, concrete cinder block. I don't know what that is. I don't know what my man Ninja Turtle. I don't. He looks like a stain knockoff. I don't know what his quirk is. Um, and there are a couple other ones there as well. The guy that's in like the straight jacket that you only see his mouth that looks like something off of like Call of Duty Zombies. I we just entered this whole like episode that's just full of questions and everything. And it was great. It's definitely been the best episode so far. I definitely am going to go back and watch that first part where they were like giving an explanation on what each kid was doing to strengthen their quirk. And then Invisigirl, like wh what could she really do to like get any stronger if unless she can somehow transfer her invisibility but i don't think that's how quirks work um same thing like mutant powers i don't think you can like elevate your quirk anything like that um it's kind of like if i can if i'm if i'm a mutant or my quirk is i can control fire I can control it as good as I want. Like, you give me a little bit of, like, you give me a candle-sized flame, I could turn it into the size of a forest, the amount of fire. But it doesn't mean that if I somehow train hard enough, all of a sudden I can create fire. I can't create it. All I can do is control it. No matter how hard I work, I'm not going to spit fire out of my hands. Um, and that's kind of the same thing with these kids. I don't think that you can really take it to that, like, next level other than making it stronger like Todoroki trying to regulate his temperatures and being able to go ice fire and do both at the same time he can do that um but I don't think you can take it to that next level like I don't think invisible girl can start touching things and make them become invisible um and yeah just tons of questions and I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks this but does anybody else think that Kaminari can be 100% OP if he figures out how to not fry his brain. I mean, that electricity is, I feel like it's being really slept on, or maybe you all think that too, but if he just can zap people, just like spit out like hundreds of volts at will and have no drawback, I mean, my man could be unstoppable. It's pretty crazy. I don't know why, but yeah, that's it. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. I thought the episode was great. Um, Attack on Titan episode 12 should be up on Monday. Tuesday, Tokyo Ghoul. Wednesday, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put up my top five Marvel Cinematic Universe videos. Um, I think I'm going to put that up on Wednesday. And in that same video, I'm going to do a Infinity War preview because I'm going to see the movie opening night Thursday around like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. after I close up the gym. Um, so I think I'm going to switch out Boruto and not have it on Wednesday. I mean, it's in the movie arc. We all kind of know what's going on. It's nothing crazy new, but Boruto will be up next week. Just know it might not be up on Wednesday. Um, I think Wednesday is going to be my Infinity War preview, death predictions, top five movie stuff. Um, and we'll go from there. Let me know what you thought of episode three, especially if you're an anime only watcher. What are your predictions? Any of the questions I had? Um, yeah, like, share, favorite, subscribe. See you guys on Monday. And as always, 